believing the Liman regime to be unable to resolve Ghana's neo-colonial economic dependency, Rawlings led a second coup against Liman and indicted the entire political class on December 31, 1981. In place of Liman's People's National Party, Rawlings established the Provisional National Defense Council PNDC, military junta as the official government. Although the PNDC claimed to be representative of the people, it lacked experience in the creation and implementation of clear economic policies. Rawlings, like many of his predecessors, attributed current economic and social problems to the trade malpractices and other anti-social activities of a few business people. In December 1982, the PNDC announced its four-year economic program of establishing a state monopoly on export-import trade with the goal of eliminating corruption surrounding import licenses and shift trade away from dependency on Western markets. Unrealistic price controls were imposed on the market and enforced through coercive acts, especially against business people. This resolve to employ state control over the economy is best demonstrated by the destruction of the Makola market. The PNDC established Workers' Defense Committees WDCs, and People's Defense Committees PDCs, to mobilize the population to support radical changes to the economy. Price controls on the sale of food were beneficial to urban workers, but placed undue burden on 70% of the rural population whose income largely depended on the prices of agricultural products. Rawlings' economic policies led to an economic crisis in 1983, forcing him to undertake structural adjustment and submit himself to election to retain power. Elections were held in January 1992, leading Ghana back to multi-party democracy.